Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and here we have the Going Gear EDC Club Box. This is the premium one. Now, you don't have to get the premium, but if you want to subscribe, I'm going to have everything linked down in the description, and you can get random um, gear delivered monthly. You can go as low as the standard or up to the premium membership. So this one is the premium membership. So we're gonna go through what we got this month. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. Let's check out this, this San Remnu knife. So that's what the SRM is. That is San Remnu. And I'll be honest, I've been pretty impressed with their knives uh, recently. Um, and not even just recently, even in the past, uh, they've you know done a pretty good job. So this is, this is the model 1168. Eight, and it is a big belly drop point blade and it does have multiple forms of deployment you have the reverse flicking hole very good great access to the hole or thumb flicking and both of them are equally as good to deploy you can see you got a lot of hole there <laughs> you got a lot of place to put your finger but then they have the stair step effect going on on the inside of the hole which adds to some grip and i really like that i like how they did that it offers a lot of traction and it kind of just it grips you back basically so i like that quite a bit then you have the flipper tab now the flipper tab also works really good very reliable, very snappy. I will say the leverage point is about even with the center of the pivot. You usually want to try to get a little bit higher than the pivot. So, you know, it can be failed, but it's also nice and snappy and just fine. You know, you would have to intentionally um, try to fail it. Now it has a lanyard pin with a blue lanyard pin, which is pretty cool. Makes it look um, good. It has a little pop. And then we have the pivot collar that... Uh, around the pivot that also gives another little bit of pop deep carry clip not reversible and it is in set however we have some button screws in there not a big fan of that but not that big of a deal good access to the lock bar very smooth on the drop and the steel is d2 steel so and it feels relatively slicey the ergos feel really good it feels like it would pass through materials you know fairly well so yeah very cool that's a pretty cool knife. Now, next we have a titanium spoon. I've never had one of these. Oh, sorry. A titanium spoon and fork combination, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then you got a little carrying case for it. So, okay. Nice. So, you got a, a fork and a spoon. And how does it go back together like that? No. No. I don't remember how it was together. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm, am I doing this wrong? Maybe it was like this. I don't know. Anyways, it was sealed up together somehow. I just don't remember how. There we go, just like that. Okay, so you run it backwards. Anyways, so very cool. It's, it is thin, very lightweight, uh, but it's a decent sized spoon. I'm glad it's not a tiny spoon. I personally like big spoons when I eat. Um, so, but regardless, pretty cool. And uh, next we have Ravivon. Now, I love Ravivon stuff. This is a obviously a flashlight. And it seems like it comes with um, a clip, O-rings for keychain. Very cool. It does not come with the cord to recharge it. But I'm sure, yeah, and it is USB-C rechargeable. So I'm sure plenty of you guys have that already. And... It looks like it has multiple different settings, so you can probably set it up to do different features. But this is very bright already. Just wow, yeah, just popping it on. This thing is incredibly bright. I can barely see anything now. This is the angel eyes. It is a plastic body. I don't know what this flap does. What is that for? I don't, I'll just leave it. Uh, but Pretty cool and lightweight. And these things, like I said, these things hold the charge for a very long time and they are super, super bright. And this one is multifunction. So you have a bunch of different functions in there. And yeah, very, very cool. I love Robbie Vaughn. They're one of my favorite lights for, for um, EDC lights. And then next or last, the star of the show, 
which is a concept. Concept does a heck of a job. I love concept knives. We have the Concept Warrior, a Kim Ning design. Damn it, that thing looks cool, doesn't it? Look at that copper carbon fiber, titanium frame lock, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. This thing is so smooth. Holy cow, this thing is smooth. Man, you, I gotta give uh, Concept some credit, man. One, they always do good lock bar access. Their uh, access to the lock bar is always very smooth, great to disengage, and this feels like it's got that smoothness to it where you do not feel the bearings whatsoever, but it's false shutty. That, that's awesome. The geometry is a little bit on the thicker side. We do have a robust spine, but it is the warrior. So, you know, it's probably supposed to be a little bit more on the robust side. Somewhat of a drop pointish blade. Um, good action. The thumb studs are easy to get to. Nice and grippy. The reverse flick is also really nice. Um, easy to get up to the thumb stud and flick it. So, yeah, the action on this is, yeah, fantastic. You can slow roll it very easily. The ergonomics, relatively comfortable in the hand, um, pretty neutral. So, it feels like it's going to work for most EDC stuff just fine. Um, I like the way it looks. It's definitely a looker. And, you know, the copper carbon fiber, man, that thing, it just pops. Um, not a fan of the, the, the robustness, though. I mean, it is quite thick. But, you know, this thing will cut just fine, especially with a nice low edge angle. But my biggest complaint is this plunge grind and choil. Just looking at it, you already see they already started a smile. So you know how it's going to go when you sharpen it. Now, the one beautiful thing is that you can add a choil in because it looks like it is internal stop pins. So it does have internal stop pins. So nothing stopping you from cutting in your own choil finger trail or sharpening trail if you want to man this thing is smooth no oil or nothing fresh out of the box oh is it perfectly centered perfectly centered yeah this is a good looking knife this is a cool knife i like this one so there you guys go there is the edc club box like i said everything will be linked down in the description if you want to get yourself edc gear on a monthly basis which is pretty cool because you, you know, you don't pick what you want. So it just randomly shows up. So you, you're going to get things that you might not have thought you'd like, or, you know, maybe you'll get things you don't like, but you'll at least get to try things that you probably wouldn't have ordered otherwise, you know, maybe things you've never seen before, never heard before. So I think it's a pretty cool system. And, you know, compared to the way they were in the past, because I'll be honest, when I first started watching these before I ever, you know, started receiving them. I was not a fan. I thought they looked low quality. I thought they, they just never looked like it was worth it. It always looked like to me like, you know, you're not getting what you pay for. Or if you do, yeah, you're getting what you pay for, but it's not something you'd care to buy. Like you're never, and that's just how I felt. Now though, I do think they've stepped it up quite a bit. I've noticed um, in every box that I've received, there's been something that I've loved. Um, you know, not including the other things that are really cool too. So very happy, um, with the boxes as of lately, but there you guys go. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. I love you guys. Peace.